Hello chess lovers, Sonnen here and in this video I want to share with you an aggressive attacking game played by Soviet chess grandmaster Leonid Stein. His opponent is Hungarian chess grandmaster Lajos Portis and this game was played at 1962 Stockholm Interzonal. This game was crowned with the first beauty prize and was published all over the world. In this game Stein had white pieces and he opened up with e4 Swish Portish answered with Sicilian defense. e6 d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, a6. Black is choosing the con variation, bishop d3. The main move, knight f6, white castled kingside, queen c7, knight d2. With this move, white is already deviating from the main theoretical lines. Uh, in here, uh, c4 is popular, knight c3 or queen e2 after which white can play f4 or can establish the moral c bind. But in the game we see knight d2, earlier this line starting with knight d2 had been seen several times, but not at such a high level. Uh, white is preparing a long maneuver with this queenside knight, now we will see it. Knight c6, after which an exchange of knights on c6 followed, f4, bishop c5 check. Uh, maybe there was no need to announce this check, Later both players were skeptical about it and were suggesting bishop e7. The thing is that um, sooner or later when you are playing f4 in this type of positions you should play king h1, make this important prophylactic move in order to avoid in future unpleasant checks from g1 a7 diagonal. And with this bishop c5 check actually black is allowing white to gain a very important tempo d6, knight f3 and e5. Not the best move. Uh, according to Stockfish, playing d5 is better. And by the way, castling can be somewhat dangerous because in this case it's white who has e5 move. If d takes e5, then f takes e5. And then after knight d5, white has this staggering bishop sacrifice. Uh, but after d6, then playing d5 can be considered to be a loss of time and black like proceeded with the logical idea and played e5. f takes e5, d takes e5, knight h4. White knight now wants to occupy this f5 square, at the same time white is opening up the queen's diagonal. Black castled king side, knight f5. Uh, it may seem that rook f6 is tempting but it won't give you anything. Uh, in the end of the day we have an equal position. This is one of the possible lines and you can't break black's defense. Black's position is super solid. Uh, in the game we see knight f5. Still Stein is not hurrying with his aggressive intentions and is putting his knight on an aggressive attacking square. Bishop e6, queen e2, hitting on a6, a5, bishop c4, king h8, bishop g5, Already bishop takes f6 can be a threat, knight d7, rook a d1, white pieces are getting activated to their maximum potential, and knight b6 which is a terrible blunder. At this point it was better to go for an exchange on f5 and then play f6. Establish a strong defensive position. But in the game we see knight b6 and as we have reached the critical position you can pause the video and try to find white's next move. Ready? Uh, right now the bishop on c4 is under attack, but instead of thinking about defending it or going for an exchange on e6, white decided to break into pieces opponent's fortress and sacrificed the knight. Now black has two alternatives, either to accept the bishop sacrifice or the knight sacrifice. In the game bishop takes c4 was made, but let's take a look what if king takes g7, then bishop f6 check can follow, and then bishop takes e6, removing the bishop which was covering the g4 square, and then queen g4 check, yeah, black king is in a mating net, victory is just a matter of moves. Another check, and then finally after king e8, rook takes f8 checkmate. Now in the game bishop takes c4 was played. Black attacked white queen and at this point another staggering move followed by Stein. Maybe you also managed to find that move as well. Bishop f6. This time Stein is sacrificing his queen. 
Black didn't dare to accept this queen sacrifice and played bishop e7 in order to neutralize this monster. But if uh, bishop takes e2, then knight f5 discover check can follow and then knight h6 checkmate. This is simple. You saw it coming, right? Uh, that's why in the game we see bishop e7, but after queen f3, Portish finally decided to resign. With the discovered check, now white wants to announce a checkmate and it's difficult to give black an advice if bishop takes f6 and queen takes f6 and again there is no defense. The engine suggests queen e7 in order to prolong the resistance. Or I don't know knight d5 but this time an exchange sacrifice can follow. That's why after queen f3 Portish resigned. A nice and quick destructive attack by Leonid Stein, which I hope that you enjoyed greatly. Well, so it looks like that with that offbeat line starting with knight d2, Stein managed to surprise his opponent and crushed him very quickly. In the end, a chess puzzle for you. We have a position which is also taken from one of Stein's games. The task is to find how to break him to pieces. Iron Tigran's defense. Yes, Tigran Petrosian is on the black side and the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.